No parent is prepared for a child's death. Parents are simply not supposed to outlive their children. It is important to remember that how long your child lived does not determine the size of your loss. The loss of a child is profound at every age. Matthew 5 verse 4 Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. You can be amazing, you can turn a phrase into... Hi everybody, my name is Claudia Palm, SA Bachelorette Finalist 2016. September is all about children with cancer awareness month. And today I'm sitting with Rita Kuhl, who's just recently lost a son from cancer. So I just want to first of all say thank you Rita for joining me today. And I'm truly sorry about your son, the loss of your son. And thanks for having the strength to do this interview with me. I really appreciate it. So we just want to find out um, how was Milan first diagnosed? By luck. <laughs> and unfortunately a lot of a lot of kids, or fortunately a lot of kids do get diagnosed by luck. Um, because you never think that your kid is going to get sick. Um, he was seven years old at that stage and as boys are very very dirty and I by luck that day got him in the bath and I picked him up in the bath by his ankle to wash his feet and I felt that there was a lump on his leg and I thought it was a bee sting but I just knew already I was worried about something and I just felt that it wasn't correct and then we had to go to the doctor and they did further tests and they also found that suddenly his lymph nodes uh, got quite big and then they did the tests on the biopsies and everything like that but um, if we didn't feel the lump it could have taken several months before uh, uh, before he was diagnosed. Sure, that's crazy. Um, what should parents look out for um, before being diagnosed? Is there anything parents should be aware of? Now, cancers are quite different. So, not I Milan mean, had a, a solid um, uh, cancer. Um, you get um, cancers that you can't see immediately, blood cancers and things like that. But um, parents should trust their instinct and trust their parenthood. And if something doesn't feel right, they should carry on investigating. But the signs could be anything from bruising that doesn't heal, lumps. Um, if there's a problem with the child's eyesight, suddenly the child becomes squint. Um, it could mean that there's something in the brain. It could be um, that uh, Milan's legs hurt for a while, and we thought it would just it was just bone pains, but it was actually something that was wrong in his legs. So just trust yourself and look out. If it doesn't look right, go have it tested. Parents, please trust your instincts, and if you see something wrong with your kid, please rather take them to, to the doctor immediately, as Rita says. And what can they expect um, when the when child is diagnosed as well? Is there any tips on how to make that easier living for your kid and for yourself or for the parents? Yeah, um, the, you are going to spend a lot of time in hospital. Um, make it as normal as possible for, yeah. for your child. Take their pillow, their blanket, their toys, take things to do um, because it, that child might be attached to a drip but it is, they are still little children who want to run around if they're not feeling that bad. The, you will see little kids with masks, no hair and running up and down the passages um, on the little uh, drip stands because it is fun to do but you as a parent um, Try to make it not as scary. Um, so if your child is freaked out with the with the chemo going in, you can make a little bag and put it over the the, the chemo stand. <laughs> or my son was hated seeing the blood going in, so we always had to hide blood. But he was fine with the chemo. M make sure that you. Check the nurses. Those poor people are overworked and underpaid and work long shifts. You as a parent must get to know as much as possible about what is happening to your child. Don't just expect that the medicine that they deliver is the medicine that is supposed to go in. You need to check every single bag, make sure that the blood type is correct because if the wrong blood type goes into your child, they might as well be dead in any case. Every single thing, check, make sure that you know how the machinery works. You spend the hours and hours, you will get to know all of that. 
Um, you can, for example, we were very fortunate, we had um, a, a company who delivered food. You can have food delivered in hospital if your child doesn't eat that. Um, but find something for yourself to do as well while you're in hospital because your mind is going to drive you crazy. If you don't have anything else to do, you... But, I'm a big reader and I could not read in hospital because there was just so much to do. You're always busy in hospital. But make sure that you are in control and that you are the person there for your child. So if your child wants a thing done in a certain way, make sure that the nurses respect that. Just because they're little doesn't mean that they're not full human beings and that they don't need their lives respected. They are having the most horrible things done to them make sure <laughs> they are comfortable with that. Well parents, if you have a child with cancer, please take these tips from Rita. And for the parents out there who have lost a kid from cancer, just know that you're not alone and our hearts go out to you. Thank you so much Rita. For